Positive money is really about trying to change the financial system so that it works for society and not against it. We have uh, groups around the country and also another 15 groups internationally, uh, sister organisations, um, other people helping out, volunteers, contractors and um, all of the local groups and the international groups who all give their time for free. Um, so really quite a big base of people who are, who are trying to make this happen. The issue we have today is that all money that we use is created um, by banks, high street banks, when they lend. And what that means is that we have a money system that is based on debt. So if we want more money, then we also have to have more debt. And that results in a whole series of problems. Uh, we're trying to look at the way that money is created by the banking system and the effect that has on debt and poverty, on affordable housing, inequality, and the whole range of other social problems that we're facing at the moment. I'm quite passionate about what positive money is trying to do because Number one, I got caught up in the big party that was going on before 2007. Everyone's investing in property, borrowing too much money. Uh, that happened to me um, and I'm now in a position where I owe far more money than I'd like to and I think looking back I probably shouldn't have borrowed it, I shouldn't have been allowed to. So I think that's something flawed in the system. We think this is a big problem um, and we think that actually the power to create money shouldn't be privately owned, money shouldn't be created as debt. We think that actually the power to create money should be returned to the people essentially. The power to create money should be used in the public interest uh, and the people that create money should be the Bank of England and it should be done in a democratically accountable manner and in a transparent manner. I just feel that it's like the, the common denominator of so many different problems. Like it's, it's I think, one issue that if we ch could change it, it would just automatically resolve so many different problems that we're facing. Today is really about what the individual gets out of it themselves. How much effort they've put in is inevitably how much they've gotten out. That's what I've taken. You find some people who are very pessimistic, some people who, who don't think things are possible, and then you, you find people who are flexible, who have a can-do attitude, or are kind of like, oh, you know what, oh, we can't meet on this day, we can, maybe we can do this, or, oh, we're all geographically dispersed, but hey, we can do something about it. I think it's helpful to bring people together, to share ideas, what's happening across the country, to meet new people. We, I mean, I've met a few people today that were very concerned about the issues raised by positive money in my area that I didn't even know existed. I think it's important for a number of reasons. One is to, to retain that momentum from supporters and, and perhaps develop new supporters as well, um, to, to help those understand the principles that, that don't already, and people like me are relatively new to the concepts. I think it's also important to learn lessons from one another and to think about where to go next and to use the, the sort of broad range of skills and experience that's in the room today to do that to the, to the best effect. If only positive money could get over this one idea, money, where does it come from? And then the next point, of course, is it's our money and shouldn't we decide what's to be done with it? We know it's a huge change that we're trying to achieve, but the thing is is that we've already got over 22,000 people on board after only going for a few years, and with such a radical thing we're proposing, that's really exciting. We've got groups in 19 different countries that want to try and change their own money system in their country, and we're all fighting for the same cause, and we can share and help each other to be able to kind of communicate what we're trying to do. We should be optimistic because, firstly, things do need to change. Politicians and the people in charge are running out of ideas. And that there's more and more discussion in the press and in policy circles and amongst the general public about these fundamental problems with money and that it needs to change.